Toyota is on a roll on recalls recently. Toyota is recalling a 2023-2024 to Toyota Sequoia. This time, it's not a mechanical safety recall, but it's part of the rear end of the Sequoia. Let's look at it and see what they're recalling. Hey, it's LSF the Air today, and today we're here to look at the recall for 2023 to 2024 Sequoia vehicles. So they're saying that Toyota is conducting a safety recall involving certain model years 2023 to 2024 Sequoias in North, Central, and South America, as well as Middle East. So what they're saying is the total is about 45,300 vehicles. Out of that, 43,400 is in the United States. When I actually talk about the Canada one, we'll look at the numbers and see where uh, the, the rest is coming from. But when you look at it, 43,400 out of the 45,300, you can definitely see that the US is actually an extremely big market for the Sequoia compared to other markets because that's only like 2,000-ish like, of vehicles. So like 95.8% of the market is United States. So what's the recall about? So the resin told hitch cover could separate from the rear bumper of the vehicle while driving and potentially become a road hazardous, potentially increasing the risk of a crash. So one thing I will say is this most likely would not be a crash of your vehicle, but I think the Sequoia could cause a crash of the vehicle behind you, especially on your highway and it falls off it starts rolling on the road and then someone's brakes or someone tries to avoid it and that's where it causes the crash. So it's not going to go and go under your car, but it's probably going to go somewhere else. So what they're saying is they're involved vehicles. Toyota dealers will replace the resin tow cover hitch with an improved one free of charge. So if you think of it, oh, it's just a cover. Shouldn't be that expensive, right? Well, let's continue to see how much it's going to cost. Owners will receive notification that can mitigate the risk of removing the cover until the proper cover is available. So you can actually take it off and then just leave it. Or I think some owners have done other things to prevent it from falling off. And we'll look at that as well. So owners, you guys will be notified late October 2024 uh, by mail for it. And I don't know when they're actually going to get the recall uh, when it gets done but hopefully that will be very soon after October. Let's move over to Canada and see what the Canada recall looks like. Alright so the Toyota Canada recall it does say here 1412 so when you look at those numbers roughly 488 is left for Central, South and Middle East. So this is North America right? So Toyota is conducting the safety recall, same year, model year, 1,412 vehicles. And then same thing, they're looking, it's, it's a resin tow hitch cover, and they will replace it with no, no, uh, no charge and mitigate the risk, removing the cover until the co improved cover is available. So it does say again, it will be mailing you in through snail mail uh, the information late October 2024. Most likely, when you open up your Toyota app, you'll probably see this safety recall in the app already. So I'm, I think it's legally they have to send you something, but it's through the app. You already have that information as well. Follow me on Instagram at LSFTVideos. You can see updates on my experience with the NX 450H Plus, which may not be shown on any future videos. You can reach out to me via direct messaging, if you have any questions on your Lexus. If you like this video, you can provide me feedback in the comments below, like this video, share it with your friends. This definitely will help with the YouTube algorithms. Press the subscribe button and bell icon and get notified when new videos show up. And lastly, if you want to support me further, you can provide me a super thanks or visit my Amazon storefront before you purchase anything from Amazon and or you can purchase products from the list on the items that I've been using with my vehicle or at home at no extra cost to you. And now let's continue with the video. 
All right, so now let's go and look at the Sequoia. I did some searching around and there were some people, so one year ago, this person had actually seen that my 2023 Toyota Sequoia rear hitch cover, he needs help because he loves the car, but then when he got the car through a car wash in the evening, the next day, he noticed that the hitch piece was gone. So you can see that the whole hitch is the pieces gone. It just fell off. So this is one instance of it, right? And then they're saying that uh, I don't know where to start. Of course, I'll start the dealership, but any advice, nice aftermarket options. So I already went back to the car wash, couldn't find the part. Nobody turned it in. Likely it could have fallen off right after the car wash and probably got run over by another vehicle, right? So we continue down here. There's 40 comments here. And then same thing, one year ago, I bought the exact same car, missing the same plate, Ontario, Canada last week. So they're saying that just be careful, the part is coming off and being lost. So then you're saying that it's mine just went missing after car wash too, two days old, 2023 TRD Pro. I really don't know how Toyota would have missed this because if you look at it, two day old car and it falls off, that seems a little bit funny. Someone that did actually make a comment saying might be worth getting rid of the sticker cover anyways. And they're saying that you probably want to get an like aftermarket one. Anybody found a way to prevent it from coming off? Is there any aftermarket covers that can help? So people saying five months ago, same here. Notice missing today. No car wash was missing. Haven't been removed except at the dealership at per purchase. I'm looking at upgrading the bumper, perhaps the capstone bumper. So, so maybe that's what they're looking at. And then another one, same thing happened to me. So this is not like something, right? And four months ago, I just got off NHTS site and there's one issues recalled stating that complaints were made and they can issue a recall. So that's where four months ago, that's what they're saying. Maybe if we get enough complaints, Toyota will be doing something, right? Three months ago, their 2024 Sequoia, fell off at 1,500 miles, and they reached out to Toyota, reported the issue as well. So you guys are doing a good job. You guys are complaining to them, and they're listening. That's actually a very good sign. So we can continue down here. You can see that there is a lot of complaints of it happening. So it's not just like it happened one time, and then um, that's only that one case. But it does seem like it's happening to a lot of vehicles, and that is why they're recalling it. So since we're at it, we're looking at the rear bumper of the Sequoia here. This is 2023 model year, and if you look at it, I think most likely it is number eight and number nine, I think, these two. That's actually the cover. So if you go back here, number eight and number nine. So this is the filler bumper outer panel, which is about $163 Canadian. And if we look at the inner panel, uh, I think number nine, it's about another $280. So when you look at the price together, that's about $400 roughly. Um, I don't know which ones need to be replaced, probably just the uh, filler bumper, the outer panel where it actually has the clips. Maybe number eight is the one that needs to be replaced. I don't know. But looking at it, that's probably talking about a $400 uh, parts that they sell to you. To their cost, probably a lot less. But still, this is only 40 something thousand vehicles, not a big thing. They should probably be able to quickly get parts and get them replaced. I hope that you found that this video was informative and until next video, drive safely. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please comment, like, share this video. And if you want to see more videos like this, you can subscribe to my channel and press that bell icon to get notified when new videos are posted. And if you'd like to support this channel, you can provide me a super thanks. And until next time, cheers.